Hello children, how are you all? Yes, we have enjoyed, we have learned very valuable points from Swami Vivekananda, right? And at the same time, how our world, yes, if you are at home, that is all our world means we can't teach you anything, right? So we should uh, learn many things in the world, right? Now, see this one, second one, next we have, yes, this is the most important one about our life. We are, mod we are leading our life means the main important one, yes, food. Food is one of the important things, right? Without food, can we lead our life? Maybe hardly some days, but more than that, never, right? But who are harvesting this food? How they are doing? Yes, now you understood this one? Yes, this is about the farmer's harvest. Harvest. So how they uh, in, um, sow the seeds and harvest, how we get it. So all the crops that we can see in this poem. Okay, so let's see the poem. Have you ever seen a uh, chance to see the farmer growing crops in the field? Have you been to villages? Have you seen your, uh, that is any farmers, either your parents or uh, our relatives or who are staying in the villages, who are doing the uh, farming work, right? Have you seen? And he is the giver of food to the people, to all the pra uh, practical purposes, yes. Farmer is the giver, right? So whatever he gets in the fields, that of course, he sells, but how much cost it is? Very less cost he is giving. But for that we are getting the food. Otherwise can we get it? Never at all. And he gets up early in the morning and goes to his fields. Yes, farmers, when do they get up? Do you know? Yes, very early morning, 4 o'clock, 4.30, 5 o'clock. Hardly, very late means 5.30. 5.30, like that very early morning they get up. But what about us? Are you getting up very early morning? No, right? But farmers morning to till the sunset, till the dark, they work in the fields only. See, the farmer has many kinds of works to do and the plows, uh, he plows his fields. So plows means, yes, that is a, uh, to sow the seeds, so they should plow the field. Huh? And he sows the seeds, the, he waters the fields regularly. He has to take care of the crops also. Yes, very carefully they should look after. He has to protect them against hail and frost. So against hail, he should protect the crops, I mean fields, from the against hail and frost. Hail means forceful rain and frost means the water freezed. So from all these he should protect if it is a water increase in the field means you should try to decrease the level water, water level or else no water there means you should try to provide the water without freezing it. So only any works he should do. And here is a poem on harvest. So here is a poem on harvest. So now see the poem. Let's read. I saw the farmer plow the field and row on row the furrows grow. I saw the farmer plow the field. Yes, he is plowing the field. Right. And row on row. Row on row. Yes. When the farmers plow the field, how do we get it? Yes, in a proper row, line. Right. So the crops also if you see, very line we have. Later when they grow up, then we cannot find a proper line. But in the outside. But when they are small, there in a particular line they are. Have you seen that one? Yes, in a row, they plow the field in a row and the furrows grow. Furrows means long, narrow lines of the, lines of the plants to seed it. So furrows means particular lines like this we are getting. So in that they sow the seeds. And I saw the farmer plow the field and hungry furrows grow. So I saw the farmers plow the field and the hungry furrows grow. Hungry furrows without water they dry up. So when he plow the field, so in the lines we get it, in that lines they pour the water and they keep the seeds. And so then we get it. I saw the farmer sow the wheat, the golden grain in sun and rain. 
eyes are the farmer, so the wheat in shining sun and rain. Yes. How do they sow so the seeds? So in the seeds, that is uh, any wheat seeds or else paddy seeds, all these they sow it, right? How? I saw the farmer sow the seeds, the golden grain. So wheat seeds or else uh, uh, paddy seeds, if you see those are, yes, golden grain golden color and the sun and rain, sun and rain. So whether it is rain or shine, whether it is a, a sun, a hot sun or I mean rain also they should. I saw the former, so saw the, so the wheat in shining sun and rain, so in shining bright sun and even rain, any season the farmers should sow the seeds. So I saw at first a silvery sheen the line on the then line on line of living green. I saw at first a silvery sheen, then lines of living green. So see that. So I saw at first a silvery sheen. Silvery sheen means what is that? How I read about that? Silvery lines. How? Yes, when the seed we sow, first we get a white color sprout, right? So silvery white color, silver color, right? So, so that is from first we get it. And later we get the leaves from it and we get the plant, right? So that plant is in green color. But when we get first sprouts, those are, yes, light uh, white color, silver color. Even at home also, if you see the sprouts, those are, uh, that sprouts are, uh, uh, from the seed we get the sprout, white color only, right? So like that here also, silvery color in a line we can see and later within a few days they turn into green color, very pleasant green color. And I saw the first, at first, a silvery sheen, then lights of living green. Yes, living green, moving, you know. So living plant, those are. So living green color, very lively, very pleasant it is. And the, li the living green then turned to gold in 30, 50, 100 fold. Then the living green then turned to gold in mercy's manifold. So the living green then turned to gold, yes. So starting it was either paddy field or wheat field like that if you see. In the starting those are green color plants we get, right? And later when we get the seeds from it, then the plant also will become dry up and that will be the, yes, a hay that is a brown color, that is gold color, right? So turned to gold in 30, 50 and 100 folds, 100 times increase, right? So first white color, then turned into green, gradually turned into gold color and later again it turned into gold color. And for this, from this silver color to green and gold color, yes, 30, 50, 100 times it fold, 100 times it change, right? 100 days it may take, 100 times it may change its colors, right? So different light, slight variations we can find it. And 100 fold, so 100 times as great as uh, much, 100 fold means as great as much. And the living green then turned to gold. And so the in mercy's manifold. So in mercy's, mercy's means there's a forgiveness. So to excuse them. So manifold. So in many various ways, different ways, to excuse and yes, from the one small to hundred times, maybe it is increased as great as it turned and it again to gold color and it is giving the seeds to us again, grains to us again, right? So how it turned and how it forgive us. So in the forgiveness, in the, in the excuse and giving the much food from the one seed or two seeds we are getting many seeds, many grains, right? So like that, the farmers, they are using that and very few farmers nowadays we have, but they are doing in that by protecting and by doing all these kinds of works, if they do, then they will get crops, seeds like this, okay, grains like this. Then we can have the food. So that much of work they are doing by doing that, they are earning this one means, yes, how we are.
yes you should understand that na that is very good so we must understand it and we should not waste our food because that food we are getting because of the hard work of our farmers all right so remember that should not waste our food clear yes this is a poem harvest what we have what how the farmers sow the seeds and how they are getting the crops clear understood all of you okay let's see the next one yes see children so here we have the next one after the poem harvest yes we have it's so a time to answer time to answer you know that is question answers right so answer the following what how much we have understood the poem that we can see by learning this question answers what are those first one you see who does i refer in to in the poem i means who is here yes i in the poem i in the poem refers to the poet i in the poem refers to the poet so poet is telling about the farmers na so that's why i in the poem refers to the poet and what was the farmer doing yes what is he doing he is that uh, the farmer uh, is growing the golden grains so the uh, farmer was doing great, uh, golden grains so what was the farmer doing golden grains then we can write very simple answer golden grains and what did the poet see at, at first so first of all we can see from the seeds yes silvery sheen what do we see yes silvery sheen very well, next one what is fourth one what did it turn to gold so what did it turn to gold what it is yes the living green turned to gold the living green turned to gold okay what did it turn the living green turned to gold clear so these just four questions and next one so write up uh, whether the statements are true or false let's see that one yes see children so here we have state whether the following statements are true or false so by reading this sentence already we have come to the poem na so based on that we can understand whether the statement is right or wrong true or false right so see this one first one the farmer was sleeping in the field farmer sleeps in the field if they sleep in the field can they do the harvest in the field no so what is this yes it is false false okay next one is second one the farmer was hungry is he hungry he is only um, uh, harvesting so can be hungry no so then this is also false okay and the words living green mean green plants that grow yes living green means what's the meaning of that yes living green plants right green plants here then it is true it is true and see next one the words silvery sheen means sil shining like a silver yes when the from the seeds sprouts like that if you get it in a line that is silvery sheen silvery line right so this is also true and see the next one so the farmer got a hundred pieces of gold did he get a hundred pieces of gold no right so then it is false and see the last one the farmer was blessed with a good harvest yes at last he got very golden harvest now so right or wrong yes it's a true right so like this based on the poem right, right uh, true or false by reading the poem we should understand see the next one see the children so next we have vocabulary it's a time to learn new words so what are the new words here we have say there is very few four only we have already we know that once again you see furrows furrows means a long narrow trench long narrow trench made in the ground by a plow so made in the ground by a plow so when the farmer plow, plow the field yes the lines happens na for to sow the seeds that is called furrows okay and plow plow means turn up the earth of a with a with a plow especially before sowing so up and down that is suppose uh, to sow the uh, plant or seed uh, to sow the seed or uh, to plant it 
remains. Uh, what do we do in our garden? Yes, yeah, so we mix up the mud, right? So, okay, like, same like that. The total field they cannot do. That's why with the plow they make the ground upside down, okay? So, turn up the earth with a plow, especially before sowing. And next one, row. Row means things in a more or less straight line. So things in a straight line, row. Yes, stand in a row means what do you see? Yes, you stand in a straight line, right? So more or less in a straight line. And hundredfold. Hundredfold means a hundred times as great or as much. As great or as much. Okay, hundred times it is increased. Those are the meanings we have in this poem. See children, in this we have complete the following words. It's a time to spell well, yes, missing letters, right? So here in each word, first letter miss, that letters they have mentioned here. We should take it from this, okay? So now see this one, first one, dash, A-R-N-E-R. Dash, A-R-N-E-R. First of all, this poem is about farmer, right? So then we can go for farmer. F-A-R, M-E-R, okay? So, you can circle this. Next one, dash, L-O-U-G-H. What is farmer doing there? He is plowing the field, right? Plow, P-L-O-U-G-H. Here we have P. So, then, P-L-O-U-G-H, plow. Next one, dash, R-E-L-D. Yes, what do we have? Farmers have? Fields, right? F-I-E-L-D. Yes, F. F-I-E-L-D. Field. Next one, dash, U-R-R-O-W-S. Yes, line we have now. What do we have? Furrows. F-O-F-U-R-R-O-W-S. F-O-F-U-R-R-O-W-S. Furrows. Next one, dash, O L D E N. What? Yes, it's a golden. So, G O L D E N. Golden. Yes, golden. What it is? Dash, H E A T. What do we have in golden color? Wheat. Right? Yes, W H E A T. W H E A T. Wheat. Wheat. And next one, dash, H-I-N-I-N-G. Yes, what it is? Sh shining. Yes, H-I-N-I-N-G. Shining. And this is the next one. Dash, R-E-E-N. What is this color? Green color. G-R-E-E-N. Next one, dash, U-R-N-E-D. Girl, that is a green color, turned. So, T-U-R-N-E-D. Turned to, yes, very good. Gold color. So, G-O-L-D, gold. Right. So, like this, we have the words. Clear this one. Yes. Farmer, plow, field, furrows, golden, wheat, shining, green, turned, and gold. So, all these we have from this one. Okay. And now see the next one. Pick out the rhyming words from the poem and write in the boxes that are provided. So, here some boxes are there, four or five. And so, pick out from the poem. What do we have? First one, field. Again, field, field only we have. That's why we cannot take it. Rhyming word. And next, what do we have? Row. Grow. So second line and third line, what do we have? Row, grow. Right. So that we can take it as the rhyming words. And see the second four, four lines. Yes, we tweet, it's repeated. Green, dream. So then we have green, rain. So that is a rhyming word. Right. And see the next four lines. Sheen, sheen, it's completed. And Sheen green. Lime green. Yes. Sheen green we can take it. And lime green also we can take it. Lime green. So these we can take it. So and one more. What do we get here? Yes. Fold gold. Last one we get it. Fold gold. So 
like this whatever the words rhyming words we have in the poem that we can write so row grow green rain sheen green line green and uh, uh, fold gold okay last sounds we are getting silly clear so these are the rhyming words now see children so the last topic in this poem it's a time to do yes your favorite topic again that is project work what do we have i think all of you are already doing at home if you did and once again you do this one if you do, if you had done it also once again you do this one what is this how to grow fruits and vegetables in your own garden yes in our own garden so even if you don't have garden also in the balconies in some place where you have so you keep some uh, vegetables and the flowers you keep it na so now vegetables you try it okay fruits and vegetables if fruits are not possible at least vegetables leafy vegetables at least you try it okay now see what are the steps to do this one so prepare your plot so the ground so either the pot plot here the land pot in at, at home we keep it maximum pot pot only if you have land means it's well and good otherwise at least in a pot you uh, keep some mud in that and the plot is the part of the garden that you plant the vegetables so that part the, uh, that plot that land the, that earth should be possible to plant the seeds that is the vegetables and if you need to get a rake and scrape all the rocks that are on your plot so then there where whatever the place you decide in that place you check it out and remove all the stones that is a rake and scrape means wasted things or any covers like that or else rocks if we have stones if we have that you remove it because if the stones we have the seed cannot grow it right so and as any plastic and necessary things if we have that it cannot that's why make it smooth and pleasant and now buy seeds from the local merchant yes that is the seeds are available at home you ask your mommy otherwise you ask them and then buy for, buy it from the merchant and the uh, plant the seeds you bought remember to cultivate daily yes don't remember don't forget so daily you should look after them that is uh, pour the little bit of water and uh, protect them like that we should see and water you uh, your seeds every other day so every day you should see how is it and if it is needed any protection like that we should arrange it and then uh, every alternate day we should provide the Water. Daily much water means sometimes it may grow, but sometimes it may die. And at the same time, uh, keep on pouring, and everything you are only providing means the it may grow, but the roots cannot join to the uh, adjust in the ground. Suppose alternate days means the roots much get into the ground, and it will be very strong. That's why water it every other day, alternate days. Okay, and wait to pull them up. Yes, that is it. Till they grow up, after that you wait. Let them grow, and after some time, after some days, you can really shun them. You can enjoy what you are getting from them. That is vegetables or fruits or whatever you get it. So some days you should protect it like that. Then definitely they will give the vegetables or whatever you sow it. The consumer will get it. Okay, so like this you practice it once at home.